In this case, there are a bunch of different spatulas for removing. Um, there's a razor one. Be careful that like you don't cut yourself on the, the part inside that. And then there's a standard one. Um, so you use the standard one just to pull off the piece. Um, go in at a fairly shallow angle and break the, the bond between the support material. And then it should come off. Alright. Uh, yeah. So after you do that, I'm just gonna put this up here. Um, it's helpful to use the razor one to just clear off any excess. And we'll go back and clean this up a bit more, but just for the time being. Alright, so once you've finished removing the model from the, the printer, uh, go ahead and press OK. And then you're going to go to Options, Wizards, and then Heads Cleaning. So it'll ask you to close the door. It'll then ask you if the tray is empty and the door is closed. Just double check. And then I'll move. Now while it's moving, um, you're going to want to put on gloves. Gloves are stored in here. case again there's going to be a mirror. And then underneath the gloves there are um, white rags or polyester. Um, and then finally you need some rubbing alcohol. So Yep. Once it asks you if the heads are clean, you're going to open it up. And let's see if you can... Uh... Alright, so these silver lines here, yeah. those are the heads. Okay. Behind it, you can kind of see it. Sure. Back here, yeah. there's a roller. Yeah. Um, and then on the other side, um, there is a UV light. Okay. So those are the main things that you're going to want to clean. Okay. Um, when you're moving the print head assembly, be very careful. You don't want to move it too quickly, otherwise it'll, um, feed back electricity into the system. Okay. So you're just going to take some of the rubbing alcohol. Don't go, don't skimp on it. It's what's actually cleaning. And then you use the mirror to view the, the print heads there. And you just go back and forth with it. Make sure you hit both of them. And then you're looking for there to be no residue on, on them. Okay. So the back one, I can see there's still a little bit of residue. Okay. Sometimes it's helpful um, to drop a smartphone down here and use it for uh, the flashlight. Sure. Great. Alright. Now, the roller is a bit more difficult. So, as you're going to clean it, you want to spin it. Um, so, I don't know if you can catch that. So you just spun it with your finger? Yeah. Just to get it around? Yep. And then you want to spin, spin it Spin it here. again. Yeah. And then just get all around that roller. I don't 
know if you can grab the mirror. I can. Okay. Uh, like, yeah, there we go. So that's the holder there. That's okay. what I'm spinning. Okay. And then the print heads are here. Okay. So those are the, the two things you want to get. Now there are some black clips on the far side of yeah. the roller. Um, they'll snag the, the cloth. Okay. So you want to make sure that um, you're just cleaning this front side okay. as you're going. Sure. Just go down the whole thing. All right. up the UV lamp. And that is down here. Okay, so yeah. That's the UV lamp. Right okay. There. So you just want to go back and forth. Across it again. Alright. Um, and when you're doing this, just use a light touch. It's, it's, you're not trying to scrub off debris. Since you just printed with it, there isn't anything caked on. Okay. Great. Now, when you're done, make sure you take the mirror out. It's very easy to forget. Um, and then close the door. Um, make sure that uh, you're careful taking off your gloves, that you don't accidentally get the fingertips against your hand. Acid? Yeah, you don't okay. want to burn yourself. Okay. Great. That's it. Um, afterwards, you just want to check the box. It says heads and roller clean. And then it will ask you if the tray is empty and the door is closed. Both are true. And then it will go through its perch cycle. Right. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure you're on the object side of things. Uh, you're going to go to options, wizards. And then you're going to go to, where is it? This is awkward, wiper cleaning. There we go. It'll ask you to close the door, and then ask you if the tray is closed and the door is empty. Which is true. And then it'll start doing things. Um, while you're waiting for it to, to go, you're gonna wanna put on gloves, grab the rag, and Grab the rubbing alcohol. And you have to do this every time you print? No, this is just once a month. Once a month, okay. So now it's asking me if the wiper is clean, I can open this up. Now the wiper is over here. So as it's printing, um, occasionally it has to clean off the print heads, so it uses this piece of rubber to squeegee it off. Okay. So that's like a, a little tiny squeegee that it uses. So you just want to clean all of this area, and the wiper especially. The wiper area around it, and then you're going to want to get the, the little trough that it has. And since this is a fairly messy process, you might need more than one rag. Sure. Um, grab another one. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is the main area that needs to, to be cleaned. Sometimes it, it just sprays everywhere for no reason. Great. And then you're good to go. Make sure the wipe you click the button, wipers clean. Tray's empty, door's closed. You're good to go. And that's it? Yep.